bars I own and teach at Centered Studio Pilates, a Pilates studio in San Leandro, California. I put together a few simple exercises that you can do every day while you're at home to help alleviate a bit of stiffness or sluggishness so that you can feel just a bit more revitalized for your day. As a general disclaimer, with any type of exercise or movement, stop if you feel pain. This is shoulder extension prone. The key is to feel the muscles in between your shoulder blades and at the bottom of your shoulder blades without using your low back. So when you're laying on your front side, allow your legs to feel heavy, your whole pelvis to feel flat and heavy, but have a little bit of sense of lift through your belly, through your navel. Then hover your head just a little bit off the mat Feel like your chest is going to open, your collarbones widen, and then just float your arms, and then lower. And you can exhale as you float your arms up to about hip height, and then inhale lower. Try to keep your elbows, wrists, and fingers long, and keep the sense of stretching the top of your head away from your toes. This exercise is called pulling shirt. It's appropriately named so you can think of like you're smoothly taking your shirt off. You can do this standing, sitting, laying down, kneeling, whatever you prefer. The key is to make a nice fluid motion as you do a circle, crossing the arms over in the front, letting the elbows bend, keeping the elbows soft as you circle down. If you can remember, switch which arm is on the front side each time. Of course, reverse the other way. Circling up, cross over, and down. This exercise is great because it passes through many of the positions that are available at your shoulder. So internal rotation, external rotation, flexion, extension, abduction, and adduction. This exercise is called a bridge or a hip lift. The key is to move from your hip joints and maintain the length in your spine. You can have a slight pressure into your palms and your arms, a slight pressure into your feet. Feet are hip bone distance apart and knees are parallel. Use your glute muscles or your seat muscles to pick your pelvis up, hold for an inhale at the top, and then set your pelvis back down. Feeling like you're folding and unfolding at the hip joint. Exhale as you lift, inhale, pause, and exhale to lower. At the top, see if you can feel a sense of stretching through the fronts of your hips, the fronts of your thighs, and some work in your seat and your hamstrings. Make sure to always keep your shoulder blades heavy on the mat and not coming so high where you're just on top of your neck. This is an abduction or a lower and lift of your top leg or top hip. When you're laying on your side, try to find a nice straight line. If you're using a mat or a towel or a blanket on the floor, you can always line up your back with the back edge. Have your hips stacked one over the other, shoulders stacked one over the other, and feel just a little bit of sense of lightness on the bottom side of your waist so you have a little bit of core activation. Top hand on the hip, both feet are flexed to start. So the bottom foot will stay flexed. You'll point your top foot, lift your top leg just about to hip height, maybe a little bit higher. Flex and lower. Point, lift, flex, lower. Only going in a range where the knee stays facing forward and the hips are still stacked and the waist is still long. The key is to feel it from the side and the back of your hip. Inhale up, exhale down. My favorite exercise to teach and to perform is squats or a hip hinge. Start with your feet hip width apart, knees over the centers of your feet, and the key is to move from hips, knees, and ankle joints with maintaining a nice long spine, a little bit of support in the core. You can inhale to squat and exhale to stand. Think of initiating the motion from your hips keeping your feet flat and trying to fill your seat or glute muscles. Go in a range that feels good for the knees and keep the chest nice and open. 
This exercise is called thoracic rotation. So that's meaning your upper back rotation. Laying on your back, arms straight up to the ceiling and palms are lightly pressed together over your chest. Elbows are going to stay straight and you can keep your nose in line with your thumb so you're watching your fingers. Bring your knees and feet all the way together and press them lightly together. Keep equal weight on either hip so your pelvis and your lower body don't move. Then allow your shoulders and your upper back and your head to just turn from side to side in a nice smooth action. Feel like your fingertips are almost tracing a little bit of an arc or rainbow shape on the ceiling. Feel like you're just rolling from one shoulder blade to the other shoulder blade with keeping your palms flat on each other and your arms straight. Nice smooth deep breaths, breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth.